There are participants on and offline. There are virtual attendees in Berlin, Europe, or wherever you find yourself during these times. I am honored to deliver this keynote to you today at the European Big Data Value Forum 2020. As Germany currently holds the presidency of the European Council, we are glad to place data policy and data economy at the center of our agenda. Big players, especially across the Atlantic, are carving up the market of big data and its value amongst them. Tesla is not the most valuable car maker because it sells the most cars or because it sells maybe the best cars, but because it uses the car as a platform for digital technologies and also builds up a network for charging and therefore a second digital platform. We are experiencing shifting value chains. As you can see on this example, a transition driven by digital technologies. To get to the point, Europe's Ford is building physical products like cars, planes and machinery. So the Germans love machines and hardware, but we have to move forward to be better when it comes to software and data. As we can see in America, or especially in Silicon Valley, is very successful in software and consumer platforms. However, many say the carrier of the value of the future will be data. And I agree to that fully. We in Europe need to better understand the transition and pave the way for business models that are adopted to digital economies. Now, here are some initiatives highlighting what the German government is doing to foster this. Two years after the initial adoption, we have updated our national AI strategy a couple of days ago. AI is a key technology to promote innovation and maintain competitiveness. The COVID-19 pandemic has shown the potential of AI and accelerated and boosted its development and deployment. This is why the government announced to increase additional AI spending from 3 billion euros from 2019 through 2025 up to 5 billion euros. The EU has to seize the opportunity to take the leading role to inspire and compete on a global level. Now, here's the thing. According to recent studies, only 6% of businesses in Germany are using AI technologies in their processes or products. And I believe that's typical all over Europe. And another study showed that while AI is actually not really used by businesses, three of four consumers assume wrongly that AI is used for personalized advertisements. This shows in the pending debate on AI regulation, we cannot afford to lose track of reality. To achieve our undisputed goal of a trustworthy AI, Europe must be relevant as an innovator, not only as a regulator. With the publication of the European Data Strategy in February 2020, the Commission made clear that AI and data policy have to go hand in hand. This year has shown how data is more and more relevant to society and the economy. This is why we fully support the Commission's plan to proceed with the first legislative proposal towards common European data spaces. We need to find common solutions to the general problem of a reluctance of businesses to share data and also for the government to share data. Therefore, establishing trust is a key. Intermediaries, data trust can play a crucial role in the development of a decentralized and successful data economy. To boost innovative business models, we will intensify our open data policy. We will define high value data sets that the public sector will open up according to the best possible standards. Gaia X is a European project built on European values. With Gaia X, we are building a safe and secure data and cloud infrastructure for Europe. Commission President Ursula von der Leyen 
explicitly called Gaia X in her recent State of the Union address the basis of the European digital economy. And that's true. Currently, there are already 350 companies and organizations involved, especially from the European Union, but also from Japan and the United States. On September 15, the Foundation Charter for Gaia X, AISBL, was signed. In the future, more member states shall join and the collaboration with the Commission in the context of the EU Cloud Federation shall be intensified. The industrial world and the Internet are constantly growing together. Industry 4.0 Derby turns out to be the key to increase the resilience of our economy. Given the importance of our industry for our wealth in Europe, gaining digital sovereignty is a really urgent task. Also, the emerging industrial platforms will change the way how production will be organized. Again, data is in the center of this development which has already started some years ago. We in Europe are dedicated to keep control of our data and to enable our industry to reap the benefits of its know-how. That's why it's necessary to scale up GaiaX successfully and fast in sectors like the automotive industry. This is the basis for new products and service-oriented business models. This will create opportunities and new impulses for economic growth. It will secure Europe's competitiveness. As you can see, there is a wide range of initiatives we are currently working on. But they all have one thing in common. To establish structures and frameworks that enable exchange and trade that add value to everybody's benefit. Our mission, and that includes you, Dear attendees, dear organizers, dear viewers, it's clear, I believe, that the European Big Data Value Forum 2020 will do its part to improve and advance. A special thanks, therefore, to BDVA for organizing this forum and making sure these important topics remain at the top of everybody's list. I am excited to watch the rest of the forum and wish you all a fruitful day of discussion and inspiration. Thank you for having me.